This is very much a day about the jobs number. Do you feel as though the economic narrative in America can change significantly with what happens today at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time? The porridge has to be just right, Dom. If we have a really extreme number on either side, you'll have a very binary reaction. But that's not our expectation whatsoever. I think good news today will be construed as it should be as good news. Okay, so if good news is good news and bad news is bad news, what do we make of what the recent market action has been, uh, albeit from record highs, Jason, I understand. Does it give you some pause, mm -hmm. the volatility? Look, this higher for longer regime is because the economy's on solid footing. Sometimes we on Wall Street overcomplicate things. And the last few days notwithstanding, the market has been able to withstand higher rates. So to me, it's counterintuitive to be spooked by economic resiliency. This sticky inflation is a result of what? A strong economy. And what does this portend? I think a Q1 earnings period that's going to, again, beat expectations. Okay, so then let's talk about your word of the day. What is it and why? Coiled. Small and mid-cap stocks are coiled springs. Th these are parts of the market most levered to interest rates. And yes, they will and they have been most volatile, but they have the most upside. So this rotation has had its fits and starts, but this cohort has largely been left out in the cold. You're looking at discounts to large cap for SMID of 35%, emerging markets over 40%. And so when we get that first rate cut, I think you're going to see a visceral reaction to the upside in these types of shares. They're the most cyclical. They're the most rate sensitive. They borrow the most short-term money. Sector-wise, okay, small and mid-cap from the cap perspective, coiled springs possibly to the upside. Sector-wise, is it still cyclicals or is it just technology media and telecom stocks overall, or are there other parts of the market that you think are better off? The latter of what you said. Look, the technology trade is, is not dead. These are secular trends that are here to stay, but those shares are fully and fairly valued. You look at areas like industrials or healthcare. Think about industrials for a moment. There's an absolute renaissance happening, and it's a national security issue. So politicians came around to the fact that we can't be dependent on our enemies for semis. What about being reliant on our enemies for food or energy? So this global su supply chain vulnerability has created a an immense urgency for economic self-sufficiency. All the onshoring, all the infrastructure spend, it's the perfect setup for industrials.